for me New Living Translation. New Living Translation. Okay, NIV. I wisdom dwell together with prudence. I possess knowledge and discretion. Verse number 13. Verse 13. Say, all who fear the Lord will hate evil. Therefore, I hate pride and arrogance, corruption and perverse speech. When we talk about wisdom, we are talking about the application of knowledge. Knowing what to do and doing it. Having a comprehension of what to do and doing it. So wisdom, instead of making it so difficult to comprehend, it is having knowledge and then applying what you know. Because anyone who knows and does not apply what he knows is as good as the person doesn't know. So one of the greatest blessings God can give to a man is to know what to do at all times. That's why the Bible said that Jesus himself knew what to do at all times. So Jesus had a working knowledge of what to do. If you know what to do, you'll be blessed. For instance, the difference between a man and another man is what one man knows and what he does that the other one does not do. The ability to see in darkness, the ability to see invisibilities and then to be able to do impossibilities. God had appeared unto Solomon in Hebron and then after Solomon gave a lot of sacrifices and then he asked Solomon a question. He said, what would you want that I do for you? Solomon said, wisdom. If you want that scripture, the Lord said, I give you wisdom, I give you wealth, I give you longevity, I give you peace so that there is no king before you that will be greater than you and there is no king after you that will be greater than you. So wisdom Wisdom engenders wealth. Wisdom is the raw material that produces other essentials like wealth. A wise man will increase in wealth. A wise man will increase in knowledge. A wise man will increase in the abund abundance of caution. So he will be preserved. Mm -hmm. I am overwhelmed by this deep longing, Lord. Take me, Lord, to your secret place, Lord. Take me by your hands to your holy place. Let me see your face. And your glory, Lord. Let me know you more than I've ever known you, Lord. There is a place where my heart longs for, Lord. There is a place I am craving for. It is a place. We're deep cause unto thee. I am overwhelmed by this deep longing, Lord. Take me, Lord, to your secret place, Lord. Take me by your hands to your holy place. Let me see your face. And your glory, Lord. Let me know you more than I've ever known you, Lord. I don't know who is listening to me now. The Lord sent me to tell you that your life will be preserved. I didn't hear a loud amen. The life of your family will be preserved. Your life will be preserved. The Bible says that wisdom is a defense. Just like money is a defense. Wisdom is a defense. Wisdom is a defense. This ministry, by the special grace of God, runs on the wheels of divine wisdom. On the wheels of divine wisdom. Wisdom will lead you to profitable ventures. You will know what to do part-time and when to do them. 
That's the baptism of wisdom. The Bible also says that wisdom directs. For blessed is he that findeth her. For her path shall be secured. His path shall be secured. So in wisdom is security. Wisdom is an instrument of direction. In some translations we see it as discretion. Glorious in all your way. Terrible in all your way. Emmanuel, you are. You are glorious in all your ways. I've been away since morning. Father, I drove in from a particular place to this place. Since morning. And just like as, as I was moving, I discovered a lot of accidents, a lot of things that have happened. There is a spiritual dimension of wisdom. A spiritual dimension of wisdom. Remember, wisdom is the vent. There is a spiritual dimension of wisdom. That spiritual dimension of wisdom is discernment. When God is telling you, do this, follow this way, don't do this. Terrible in all your ways. Terrible in all your ways. If you want to have ease in life, anointing for ease is rooted in divine wisdom. If you want to have strong acceleration in destiny, you need the baptism of divine wisdom. The wisdom of God is God's agency for interpreting and fulfilling dreams. No dream can come to fulfillment. If wisdom is not engendered, any time a man is enthroned, wisdom is required. Joseph finished interpreting the dream of Pharaoh, and then he said, "Look for someone that is wise that will take over this." Pharaoh said, "Who is more discreet than you are? Say so you shall be exalted." The offenses they leveled against him that he committed were no more remembered. So his life was preserved by annoying interpretation of dreams. So. By the special grace of God, the wisdom of God that came upon him made him far better than the children of the East Country. Concerning Daniel, the Bible says that they, they excelled more than the children of the East Country. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Four of them, they were chosen and preferred because another spirit rested on them. The Bible called that spirit excellent spirit. Excellent spirit. There are seven spirits of the Lord, the spirit of God. One. The spirit of wisdom. After that you get the spirit of might. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. So wherever the spirit of wisdom is. There is might. The Bible says how much more Jesus. Being full of wisdom. He did mighty work. So anyone that has wisdom. Is sure to do mighty works. We are going to be praying. For this agency of God divine wisdom lift up your right hand say after me Holy Spirit you are the spirit of wisdom somebody scream it Holy Spirit you are the spirit of wisdom please open please open my spirit up and fill me with divine wisdom today in Jesus name Open my spirit up. Fill me with divine wisdom today. Open my spirit up. Fill me with divine wisdom today. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Shapata la Bana Cosa, Shilikadana Gadalagadana 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 Gadal